this. Hmm, what's that? Mmm. Anyone want a drink? This is a cast iron tub that is epoxy coated. And if possible, I'm going to try not to mess it up. If I do, I'll be getting it refinished. I got most of the silicone caulk off. There is still a little bit of residue. And, um,. I can't use any chemicals on this. This is an epoxy coating that has been put on over the original cast iron finish. Um, overall, it looks like it's in pretty good shape, except for this area right here. And I tried to show that. Um, it looks like it bubbled up. There must have been a cleaning solution that they used on the door it hit the track and got sucked underneath it and started bubbling up. There's some more bubbles there. Uh, bubbling up the epoxy paint. So most likely, I'm not sure if this can get refinished uh, in this a local area, um, but most likely the customers will choose to have the tub refinished. With every project I do, I always start with the hardest things first, or the unknowns. I gotta figure out what's under this floor. I already know that I'm gonna have to remove the hardwood. Yes, there's actual hardwood floor under this peel and stick linoleum. Here is a close up of what was underneath the, the toilet. Has obviously been uh, worked on. We've got plywood, We've got some self-leveling uh, caulking stuff over here. And this is the, the original uh, oak hardwood. So, and underneath this is the, uh, the subfloor. The subfloor is made up of diagonal solid wood boards that go diagonal across the I think the floor joists go this way. Floor joists are going this way. But um, you can't build off of this. And as I said earlier, I really want the level of the tile flush with the hardwood that's out in the hallway.
these peel and stick linoleum tiles here are coming up pretty good. I uh, have removed a lot of these and some of them don't come up like this. And you have to use a heat gun and it's a really slow process. But uh, put some heat on it if you're trying to get yours out and, and they're not coming out this easy. As you can see, I got all the, these are just, so I can stand on something without my feet sticking to the ground. What I gotta do now is remove all this hardwood. Uh, you can see the door is out. Um, it actually doesn't look too bad inside the closet. Um, still, you don't wanna have hardwood floors in your bathrooms. So, Right now, what I'm going to do is take my circular saw and cut across here. And I'm going to keep it away just so I can get the bulk of everything out. And then what I'll do is I'll put a nice line right that follows the door. I'm going to use this piece here. I broke this one up over there. And I'm going to use this to set the depth of the saw. this one up and it's not wet at least you can see right down in the basement though sunglasses now I normally don't wear gloves um, I don't get very many hand injuries I mean my hands get scratched up a little bit but uh, you know I do manual labor for a living so I don't really have uh, soft ladyboy hands 